Hey everybody, Pete Werner here at Wilderness Lodge with this week's Disney Dining Show. Uh, in a little while, you'll hear from Sean Falk, Corey Fiascanaro, and Steve Porter. They're all here with me. We are doing Whispering Canyon uh, for dinner, which I have not done in a very long, long time. So I'm very excited to see uh, how this goes. Uh, the menu is done uh, a little differently. Um, you've got some starters, a smoked beef and vegetable soup for $9, a burnt end, burnt ends nachos, which are made, uh, the meat is made in their smokehouse, which is at, right out back, and a Whispering Canyon house salad. The uh, burnt end nachos are $12, house salad is $9. Then for $33 a person, you get a choice of a traditional all-you-can-eat plate, that has oak smoked mustard barbecue, beef brisket, maple chipotle, uh, barbecue pork ribs, slow smoked pulled pork, citrus herb chicken, western style sausage, mashed Yukon potatoes, buttered corn, sauteed green beans. You have the pig, which is, thank you, uh, braised pork belly, uh, the barbecue pork ribs, uh, pulled pork, mustard piggy wings, mustard barbecue piggy wings, western style sausage, you know, uh, the sausage, the yuca, mashed potatoes, the buttered corn, and sauteed green beans are included with pretty much all of them. You have the land and sea, which is salmon, chicken, vegan sausage, um, portobello mushrooms, barbecue cauliflower, roasted potatoes, um, and oven roasted carrots. And the plant-based, the vegan option, uh, a barbecue jackfruit, <coughs> spicy sausage, uh, mustard glaze. I guess it's not vegan if it's spicy sausage, right? Uh, mustard glaze, beefless tips, um, herb brushed trickin' chicken, roasted potatoes, oven roasted carrots, sauteed green beans, and charred peppers. Each of those is $33. There are four different ones. Uh, we've each chosen to get, we've chosen to get all four, so we'll be able to show you that. Uh, there are three entrees on this menu we did not order. There was a New York strip, uh, planks of, New York strip is $35. Uh, the p plank salmon, twenty-six, and pan-fried red quinoa cakes uh, for nineteen dollars. So, um, thirty-three dollars for an all-you-can-eat on Disney property is really, really good. I hope the food is good. I hope the food is good. So we'll see. Okay, so. Um, We've gotten our food, and uh, I already explained what everything was. I'm just going to talk about what I liked. Um, the chicken. The chicken is apparently marinated in a lemon sauce and then cooked with a uh, chimichurri on top. It was unbelievable how good it was. Um, the pulled pork. I really appreciate that the pulled pork is it loaded with barbecue sauce? Is none, it doesn't I think there's any at all in there. So it's just really, really good pulled pork. Um, the sausages are out of this world. Absolutely out of this world. Um, and given the diet restrictions I'm on right now, that was pretty much what I could have. But I will tell you, they kept bringing stuff back. They're still waiting to bring more back. And... Uh, oh, and the... Um, the roasted barbecued cauliflower blew me away. It's so, so good. Um, I'm full. I am absolutely full from what I ate. Um, at $33 a person, this is an incredible deal. Um, they let us order one of everything. So we could try like the vegetarian, like there's a vegan one, there's a Land and Sea one, there's the traditional and the, the piggy. And I think the piggy was my favorite. I uh, had a little bit of the ribs, they're barbecued. Um, as you can also hear, it is loud in this restaurant. Um, there was something going around a while ago that they were doing away with the kind of silliness and theming that they do in the restaurant. That is not true. If you don't believe me, come here and ask for ketchup. And watch what happens. But overall, I think this was absolutely worth $33. I would go out of my way to come back here for this. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so let's see what everybody else thinks. Uh, so I'll say I think this is the perfect meal to have if you have four adults because you can order each of the four different platters and then everyone just tries everything. Um, and you get to try a bunch of different food. They'll keep bringing it out even if you're trying other people's platters. Um, my favorites were the pulled pork, the mashed potatoes. I, I said to Pete, it's like a, a butter pudding. Like it's very buttery but so delicious. Um, so – those were oh and the sausage was also really really good um so those are my probably my three favorites i also kind of even though others didn't i liked the vegan chicken uh i thought it was really well like had a really good flavor i liked the the texture of it even i was not expecting that um but i enjoyed it a lot the the biggest disappointment for me was the salmon because i i do really like salmon i thought the salmon tasted fresh but it didn't have any they didn't have a glaze on it. They didn't have anything. It was just straight up salmon. Um, and I felt like, you know, at a restaurant like this, having some sort of like a rustic seasoning or just something to really take it up a notch would have done a lot of good uh, in me, like going back for more and more of that salmon. So that was the only disappointment. But other than that, I'm very, very impressed with this restaurant. I thought almost everything I had was really, really delicious. So thumbs up for me. Um, okay. Uh, for me, I, I also actually ended up with a salad as well. Um, we kind of like, I wasn't sure if I had ordered it or not, but I guess I did. Um, it's the cranberry salad from the appetizer. It was so good. It was 100% worth nine bucks. It was a massive salad. It wasn't even like an appetizer portion. You could have split it between multiple people. It was really, really good. It was cranberries and feta cheese, and it had its own uh, cranberry dressing in it. I totally recommend that, especially if you're not getting one of the platters, if you're going to order something off the main menu, or it really could have been its own meal if you wanted to get that as well. Um, I This was a restaurant I, you know, I don't book as a travel agent. A lot of people here, they don't ask about it a lot. Um, it's not my type of food that I would particularly go for on a nor- if I'm just out and about. I'm not getting like down home cooking food. Um, But I will say I think the value is really good for the platters, especially for it to be in a deluxe resort and for it to have a lot of availability most of the time. It's not that hard to get a reservation here. Um, And I think it should be more difficult than it is. I mean, there's a lot of empty tables even right now, and it's, you know, a middle of dinner time on a Saturday. And um, But I think for it to be in a deluxe resort, the prices are amazing. And for me, food-wise, the star of the meal was the vegetables for me. I thought the green beans are really good. The mashed potatoes are amazing. The corn's amazing. There's portobello mushrooms, and I think they're great. Um, The cauliflower was really great, too. Obviously, they're all in different uh, platters, but you can reorder what things you like and what things you don't out of each thing. So just order one platter and pick and choose what things from the others you'd like to get as your as your follow-up and i think you're pretty set i i like the vegetables at this restaurant a lot more than the meats and i'm not usually a vegetables person so <laughs> uh, i'm not typically a vegetable guy and uh, i also want to say the the theming in the restaurant not just the fun the silliness all that kind of stuff there is like this amazing bookcase like with frosted glass in one part of the restaurant. There is the most beautiful fireplace ever on this other side that looks like the Grand Canyon and it has these blue uh, like sapphire looking stone rocks in it and this mosaic fireplace over here that's even the hinges are like rams and sheep and all these types of things. It's got so much detail just in this one section of the restaurant. I can't, I didn't even see the other side but I just think it's one of the prettiest restaurants on Disney property as far as theming and uniqueness about it visually it's it's really stunning all right so like some of the guys have already mentioned uh the name of this restaurant is whispering canyon and don't uh take that at face value because there's no whispering being done here Uh, However, that's part of the fun, that's part of the theme. So this is the place you kind of want to go if you're looking for really great interactive cast members. Uh, That's what you're going to get. All the cast members we've interacted with, there was multiple of them, have been really awesome and they're really good about sticking to the theme of this restaurant. Uh, Think about like our our waitress was saying, Jungle Skipper, 50s prime time, where the cast members who are your waitresses and your, uh, your food runners 
have like a like a set like designated attitude that they have going on that's what you're going to get here at this restaurant they do a fantastic job at that now moving on to the food i tried a little bit of everything uh the pulled pork was probably my highlight however if i have to just take one skillet and say what skillet impressed me the most the vegan plant-based skillet was very impressive to me um and and, and no because like it is kind of hard uh and this this i'm not speaking to everybody right now a lot of people might not understand but it is kind of hard if you have a restrictive diet like you're a vegetarian or you're a vegan which i'm not but i but i i know how it is um this it can be hard to find something as wide of a variety as this and as good as this uh, like Steve mentioned, he liked the vegan chicken. That was probably the only thing on that skillet I wasn't really crazy for. But the uh, the beef tips, they are Gardein, which is a very popular uh, vegan brand. And they were Speaking ridiculously good. And I think we have more coming to the table right, right now here. because I asked for them because I like them so much. Uh, also, there was the jackfruit, which was like a, it was like a kind of sweet barbecue jackfruit. Um, really like that a lot. The vegan sausage was great. Like Sean was saying, I'm a big fan of all the vegetables, not just the vegetables that were on the vegan plate, which you might assume the vegetables on the ve vegan plate would have been made without butter, and the vegetables that were on the non-vegan plates would have been made with butter. And uh, both, both vegetables, really, really good. I uh, tried a little bit of the chicken too. I thought that was pretty good. I don't think I like it as much as Pete did, but overall $33 for these all-you-can-eat skillets I mean we, we just got back from Crystal Palace the other night this is this is an insane value I really think this is an insane value so I'm really impressed this isn't somewhere that I thought to come and eat before but I'm really impressed okay uh, just a couple other things too I want to mention number one um, I forgot to mention the pork belly um, I'm not gonna say it's the best pork belly on property but as see it on a buffet or a, 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 an all you can eat like this, it's quite good. Um, and also uh, our, our server Courtney is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal service. And not just from her, from the food runners Antonio. coming out to the table, Antonio, the food runner. Guy could be a stand up comic. I, just so entertaining and friendly. It, the service in this hotel is reminding me of the way Disney was back in the 90s when it mattered. Service still matters here. And I'm seeing it everywhere, whether we're over in the uh, a geyser point or checking in or at the guard shack or here or a territory lounge, no matter where we've been. This is the caliber of cast member we've been seeing. I almost feel like they've been hiring them from a different pool than everybody else has been. Um, also, if you are doing, if, if you're doing a keto diet, go ahead, take a drink. Um, if you're doing a keto diet, uh, on the friendlier side, in terms of that, the sausage, the pork belly, uh, even the pulled pork uh, is not, it's not, it's, a, it's not, it's been barbecued, but it's not with barbecue sauce. Um, uh, the chicken, I, I've stayed completely on my diet with this meal and I am full like like uncomfortably full so that says a lot and I didn't do anything that I need to be you know upset about I didn't cheat so and again I'm gonna go back with that $33 price point unbelievable unbelievable and then when you consider 20% with tables in Wonderland that brings this down to $26 $27 an adult Sorry, I don't mean to add on, but ever since you said that the cast members here reminded you of the 90s and you were asking, like, who's the manager, I'm just imagining them, like, a cut to, like, who's the manager? And it's, like, Michael Eisner with a fake mustache on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but, no, this was superb. Absolutely superb. So, that was it. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about desserts. We're actually going to let Steve uh, start us off. But before we do that... Um, I, I just want to make a note here. Um, you know, I've, I've had some vocal things to say about Ohana and the way you're rushed through a meal there. Um, I want to point out that we were sat here at 6.30. 
Um, it is 8.30 right now. At no point have we been rushed through this meal. We've been allowed to sit, enjoy our food with amazing service. We asked for something extra. It was brought out. Um, so I just need to make sure that I get that point out there. Uh, you're not going to be rushed through your meal here. Um, that, it, that Really. So well, I'll, I'll give you my final thoughts in a little bit, but let's go over to Steve. Okay, so for dessert, uh, we got an apple pie, a peach cobbler, and a flourless chocolate cake. Uh, overall, I've enjoyed all of them. Uh, the flourless chocolate cake was probably my favorite. It was very dense. Uh, it was very chocolatey. It was almost like a lava cake uh, with a ton of ice cream on top. Delicious. Um, the very chocolatey. The peach cobbler. It's so my second favorite. I, peaches are maybe my favorite fruit. Uh, I was expecting that to be my favorite. Uh, and not that it was bad. It was delicious. Um, the the bread was very crumbly and like had like almost like a sugary coating on top. Uh, of course, ice cream makes everything better. Uh, the apple pie, while it was good, it was kind of the biggest disappointment for me because I like apple pie normally, but this was like a different type of apple pie. It was almost like cake mixed with pie it's kind of hard to describe um it's like layered with breading uh not like a crust a typical pie crust um so that just wasn't my flavor um overall this restaurant is fantastic uh one of my favorites for i i mean we've all mentioned that it's a great deal 33 dollars for all the food that you get is incredible um, and even if you don't like every single thing from the platters, or platters, there is so much to choose from, especially if you do it the way that we did with four different platters of all the different selections, you're going to find something you love, even if you don't, even if there's like one or two things that aren't the best. So I'm going to say that for me, this is like a 9.5. I will definitely be back. I love this restaurant a lot. I love the theming. I love the care or not the characters, but the cast member interaction, um, yeah, overall, very impressed. Outstanding meal. I'll be back. Uh, okay, uh, so as Steve said, those were the desserts we got. I also ordered a milkshake. Um, you can get bottomless milkshakes here as well. They have chocolate, caramel, vanilla, and strawberry as the flavor options. It's 9 bucks, but you can get as many as you want. Um, I waited and ordered it till the end, so I don't really get the appeal of the bottomless because I'd have to sit here and drink a ton of these or else eat them with that like meat and vegetable dinner which I wouldn't have wanted that either um the milkshake is extremely good it's extremely uh I got the chocolate it is very very chocolatey it's very it's like drinking Hershey syrup almost I, like if you literally chugged it right out of the bottle that's not my thing I, I know Pete was like oh it was so because he was eating a bit he was like it's so good it's just too much for me of that. I like vanilla down my chocolate a bit. Like I would put a scoop of vanilla ice cream in there for me. But it's so good. You have a lot of choices. So I think the nine bucks is great, especially if you have kids. Uh, they gave me the new paper straws and they are environmentally friendly and made in the United States. So I like both of those things, but I think they're not conducive for drinking a milkshake. They're too thin and they're paper and like it's like milkshakes are too thick for this. I don't I don't get that. Um so they need to not have the paper straws for that. Um the lava cake was really really good. The flourless cake, I thought it was great. It's one of the best flourless cakes I've ever had. The peach cobbler, um, I had never had peaches before, but they were actually very good. I don't know what to compare it to. And uh, the almond and apple pie, I am allergic to almonds, so I didn't need it. But uh, So I kind of missed out on that one, but I, um, sorry, something's happening. I don't know why. Um, so with that being said, I thought this meal was great. The vegetables were amazing. The chocolate milk or chocolate milkshake is great, and some of the desserts are really good. I don't know. I'll give it like an eight or something because... I kind of want to see what's happening. So, so uh, as we're doing this, we just got these little water cups. I think it's a joke. I think it's part of the, the theme. I don't know exactly. I think maybe because our meal's over, they kind of and we asked for waters. They were kind of playing around with us by giving us these little cups. I think it's kind of funny, kind of cute. Uh, but the desserts. So what I should start by saying is, off uh, first glance, if I was to sit here and order dessert. Uh, the apple pie is what I personally would have ordered. And my 
order of operations of which dessert I think is the best is actually the exact same as Steve's. Uh, the molten cake thing with the ice cream on top was my favorite. The peach cobbler was my second. And then the apple pie was my third, which if I was to order them in the order I would have actually chosen them in, it would be the opposite. Um, so really surprised there, but at the same time, everything was really good. I mean, cake or pie plus ice cream, that's like my kryptonite that I shouldn't eat, but I always, always do. Uh, the meal as a whole, to be honest, uh, this restaurant was never something that I was interested in coming to. It just, you look at the menu on the Disney Experience app, the menu looks kind of strange, hard to navigate. We just have those choices of skillets and a few entree items. But I must say, it, it has kind of blown me away with how impressive it is overall. Uh, price per value, the, the skillet buffets, I can't think of, there might be, but I personally can't think of something off of the top of my head right now that is a better buffet style price per value. I'm probably wrong. But me right now, I can't think of anything. I can't think of a better, a better, a better deal. Um, also, with that being said, that vegan skillet is, again, might be wrong, but at the moment, trying to think, I can't think of a, be a better vegan option on property with that many op with that many like options available to you. Um, kind of blown away, honestly, kind of blown away at how good this was uh, for the price that we paid. I'm gonna have to give this a nine. Service was incredible. It's a loud restaurant. Yes, it, yes it is. And that's usually not my first choice in dining is to go to loud places. But because it's executed so well with the theme and because the cast members do such a good job with that execution, I don't care. I don't care that it's loud. It's, it, it's an awesome experience. Um, I would have never thought to come here before, but now that I've been here, I, I definitely wanna come back. Yeah, um, I just took very small tastes of the desserts. Um, and I'm agreeing with everybody else. That flourless chocolate cake, which I'm not a fan of usually, that was delicious. That's like a massive brownie with some really, really good vanilla ice cream on top. The peach cobbler was also quite good. And um, I think uh, that if you're into something not quite as sweet and offensive as those two things are, delicious. Uh, then the apple pie, uh, the apple pie cake, because that crust is actually delicious. It's a, a really great, um, they're bringing these tiny sodas. <laughs> it's adorable. I like, I love, I, I gotta tell you something. Um, I am so surprised by this meal. Um, Whispering Canyon has never been on my radar. I didn't think it was bad, didn't think it was good. I just didn't think about it, really. Um, I would need to come back here a few more times to know how consistent it is. I don't know that I'm not having just a really, really good experience. But I'm giving this a nine. Um, it's that good. The service, phenomenal. The, and, and, and just friendly and upbeat and fun and the food was really, really good. And at $33, I'm not going to believe this was $33 until I see the check because anywhere else on property, this would have been $50. Um, I don't want to give them any ideas, um, but this, I would go out of my way to come back here. I would go out of my way. To, that's how good it was. So that's going to do it for our review of Whispering Canyon here at Wilderness Lodge. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next week with another episode of the Disney Dining Show. Have a great week, folks.